Denver police will soon have a new top cop. But Chief Paul Payson announced his retirement yesterday after nearly three decades with the city. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski at Mayor Hancock's press conference today where he announced Division Chief Ron Thomas as his pick to head the police department. And Jen, all these changes come after the department has faced increased scrutiny after three officers shot six innocent bystanders in Denver's Lodo neighborhood. And as you said, that shooting injured six bystanders and raised a lot of questions. A grand jury is now investigating if those officers should face criminal charges. Thomas says he wants to build back the community's trust. That situation has certainly highlighted the fact that we are faced with uh, split second decisions uh, all the time. I am committed to uh, continuing to build upon and enhance our training so that we uh, can be counted on to make the appropriate decisions. Thomas says he understands the challenges facing the department. He talked about how violent crime is rising, response times are up, and at the same, same time staffing is down with 170 fewer officers on the force right now. I'm committed to fixing those things. We need to fix those things, and, and those things are going to be addressed. Uh, I can promise you that. Chief Hancock says he nominated Thomas because he was highly regarded. Thomas has spent more than three decades with Denver police. City Council still has to approve his nomination. Thomas will have less than a year to serve under the Hancock administration before a new mayor is elected next year. We've got 300 plus days to make this the model city in the nation on how to restore trust with the community and I believe he's up to the task to help make it happen because we need to build community relationships. There were also questions about the timing of Chief Paul Pazin's announcement. Mayor Hancock says he learned Pazin planned to retire 48 hours ago and he did not ask the chief to step down. Shannon. All right, Jennifer Kovaleski tonight. Thanks for your work on this, Jen.